Happy Friday, everyone, from the Colorado Coalition Against Sexual Assault. We just wanted to give a quick public policy update, as most of you have probably seen from our social networking sites. Um, House Bill 1163, the Sex Assault Victim Emergency Payment Program, passed unanimously last night out of the House Judiciary Committee. It was a really inspiring, awesome evening, and we're so thankful to everyone who testified on support of the bill or organized around it, showed up to show your support, made calls and emails that that, that work really paid off and we saw that with a bipartisan unanimous vote. However, what I really want to stress is our work is far from over. As you guys probably remember through your intro to government classes, there's a lot of work that happens to get a bill passed and many different steps. So the next step for the SAVE bill is that it will go to the House Appropriations Committee. Um, after it passes out of that, it will then go to the full House floor for um, debate and votes. Once it's finished in the House, it'll, on go, it'll go on to the Senate where we'll essentially have to repeat the entire process over again. So if you already made a call or an email, wrote an email on behalf of SAVE, save your talking points and messages because you're going to need to use them again. Um, Please stay in touch with us on this effort. We'll keep our website and our Facebook page updated. Um, specifically this week, if the bill goes to appropriations, we just need to make sure that the fund is adequately funded so it can do what it needs to do and serve survivors well in our state. So please look forward to um, hearing from me. I will be contacting you all about how you can help pass save the SAVE bill in Colorado. Um, again, for more information, visit our website and feel free to contact us at any time. I also wanted to make sure folks know that it was exci an exciting week with the Violence Against Women Act or VAWA. We saw a fantastic version of VAWA passed in the Senate at the federal level. So that was really exciting. I know people have been advocating on behalf of VAWA for ages now. It feels like it's been forever. Um, trying to get it passed. The next step will be getting a similar version introduced and passed in the House. And as folks know, that's really where the process ran into a lot of problems last year. So I think that advocacy will absolutely be needed uh, with our federal representatives, um, members of the Colorado delegation and the House of Representatives around the final getting VAWA, the Violence Against Women Act, actually reauthorized and passed. Again, for VAWA.org is an excellent update for VAWA-specific information, and we'll try and keep you all updated as well. Um, it's going to be another busy week. February is one of our busiest months at the Capitol in terms of state legislation. We will be working on House Bill 1156 this week. It's a bill around adult diversion programs and who is eligible uh, for diversion. The bill is looking to expand diversion programs, and, and we're concerned, frankly, about sex offenders being able to participate in diversion programs because that certainly um, changes some about how the, the cases um, how the case is recorded, um, how the records are in place and accessible, um, what sort of sex offender specific treatment is available. So that's something that we're looking on amending. If you're specifically interested in that issue, I know that's um, a very different issue than the SAVE bill, but if sex offender management um, is a topic that you really want to work on, please be sure to contact our office and we'll tap you into the work we're specifically doing, um, making sure that our sex offender laws are as comprehensive and thorough as they need to be in Colorado. So thanks again for everything that you all are doing. It's really been an exciting week and we're looking forward to continuing um, our work work with our members and um, interested supporters in Colorado.